Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a very hot and humid Menasha, Wisconsin. I am excited to be sharing with you the Totally Techniques blog hop today. When we get done with the video, when I get done showing you how to make my projects, at the end you're going to have the opportunity to click on a link and go from blog to blog all over the world and see what everyone else made with the paper piecing technique. Now, the idea that I am using may be a little different, but I haven't seen everybody else's project, so maybe they got the same idea I did. Really excited to be sharing with you the Counting Sheep and also the Sheep Dies. These are free during celebration, which starts August 3rd. So just next week, you have the opportunity to get these free when you order from any of our catalogs right now. Let's flip this camera around. I can't hardly wait to show you the adorable cards that I made. All right, like I said, I am going to be using the Counting Sheep stamp set as well as the Sheep Dies. Both of these are available during celebration, which starts August 3rd, for free with your $50 order. So $50 order, you can get this. Another $50, you can get this. Yay, it's a win-win. I'm going to bring in my cardstock layers here because we are going to be making a complete card. Now, this is our thick basic white cardstock. It is four and a quarter by 11, and I've already scored it here at five and a half. I always recommend scoring the thick cardstock bases because they're just going to fold nicer at the top. Then I've got a piece of basic black. This is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. A piece of basic white that is three and three quarters by five and also another piece of basic black that is two inches by five and a half. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the actual paper piecing technique. Now I ran across an idea online and it's from a gal in the UK. Uh, Marsha, Marsha, uh, nope. Mm, shoot, I can't remember her name. Hang on. Stacy Marsh. That was it. So sorry, Stacy. Oh my gosh. I, um, I'm glad I had that up on my computer yet. So most of the time paper piecing technique has to do with stamping an image, like maybe a person with a dress and then stamping it again on maybe some designer series paper and cutting out the dress and putting it onto the original stamped image. And that's a really cool way to do paper piecing. But I ran across this idea online. So I've got my two inch by five and a half inch black piece. I'm gonna use this for a mat to put all these little strips in here. I chose pinks. So we've got Melon Mambo, Blushing Bride, and Polished Pink. I also have some cards using blue, blue greenish colors to share with you today too. So I cut these at one and seven eighths inches long, which is just an eighth of an inch smaller than my two inch width here. And they're all half inch pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to add my glue to this layer and we are going to piece these onto the black layer. So there's my first one and we're just going to go with, first of all was Melon Mambo, now we've got Polished Pink and Blushing Bride. I tried to bring um, Magenta Madness in here but it just, I don't know, the colors just didn't work together with these pinks for me but any pinks or any set of colors, of course, in the same kind of color family will work just fine. I chose these because they're bright and colorful and I love bright and colorful. Now, the nice thing about this paper piecing is when you're done, if you need to, you can maybe trim off the edge in your paper cutter if you're not getting these on here real straight. see this is pretty simple this is a great way to use up those scraps that you can't bear to throw away use them use them use them and you just keep going last but not least we have all of these now isn't that fun okay now we're gonna make our card 
So I've got several different little elements going on here. I'm going to bring in this stitched greenery die. Okay, we're going to take our three and three quarters by five inch white piece and we're gonna run it through our die cutting machine on this die. Before we do that, we've got some other elements that we can die cut at the same time. So I've got a basic white scrap. I'm gonna bring in my memento ink and my stamp set. So I think I'm going to use this particular little sheep. And I'm gonna stamp that. Then I'm gonna bring in a scrap of polished pink and a scrap of crumb cake. This polished pink is going to get the, one of the sentiments from the Counting Sheep stamp set. And then we are going to color a little bit. I've got some Stampin' Blend markers here. This one is the Dark Smoky Slate, and this is kind of a perfect little color for these sheep. Let me get this closed up. I am going to color in the sheep's little legs. The ears and the face. And then I've got the black. This is light basic black stamp and blend for the sheep's hooves. Then we're gonna grab the dye that corresponds with this. And I think it is this one right here. You have, um, you have dyes for each one of the sheep. Also a fence that we're gonna die cut, some clouds, a sun, a balloon, a flag. It's a pretty nice set of dies. Okay, so we're gonna add this die here. Then we're going to bring the fence in on a scrap of crumb cake. And then I brought in a set of label dies. This is the Stitched So Sweetly set of label dies. And I already have this one out here. I'm gonna use this little scalloped rectangle for my sentiment. Now I'm gonna die cut all of these and I'll be right back. Okay, here comes that stitched greenery layer. I love this die. It is a must have as far as I'm concerned. We are going to add this to our black layer. Gives us that little tiny border that makes this layer really pop. Oh, one other thing. I forgot to um, show you when I went to die cut. Oh, there's a flag die someplace and I just had it. But anyways, there's a die that'll cut out this little flag. Here it is. <laughs> I cut that out of basic white also. Okay, so we've got this done. Now we're going to bring our sentiment and our sheep and our fence in and dimensionals. So I've got some mini dimensionals to put on the fence. Well, that's a little bigger than I want. Dimensionals on the back of our label and our sheep. Oh, and the um, little flag. There we go. Okay, we're ready for assembly. I'm going to take this layer and oop, I see that we're kind of going over the back here. I'm just going to trim that off so that's nice and even and straight. Like I said, you could put this in your paper cutter if you wanted to. Okay, we're ready to put on our paper, paper piercing label. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Hang on. Oh my gosh, this is for a different card. Hang tight. 
Where's my card layer? Here we go. Sorry, I got confused. We're gonna use a white base here. We're gonna save this for the next card. Oh my gosh. I don't know what happened there. But let's take a Stampin' Write marker and I'm gonna flick some pink onto this layer that's polished pink and then black. And I just put it in, in put the big tip in here and flick it. And that's how you get a little splattering of color on here. Okay, whew. thank goodness. Where did my layer go? I did not glue this down yet. Okay, so this is gonna go right up against the edge on our white layer, just like that. Then we're going to bring in our sentiment layer going to put that right down here you're amazing then we can put our fence right up here and where did our sheep go here comes our sheep and we're gonna do this little sheep right here and last but not least on the front here is a little flag oh my gosh how cute is that okay Wanted just a little bit of embellishment. So I've got some of the um, white Baker's Twine from the Baker's Twine Essentials. Now this is a bow jig. I do have these in um, stock. I sell them. They're $10. If you're interested in one, you just pop me an email. My email address is right here. Or you can make your own. It's nothing more than um, some nails in a block of wood. And uh, that's how you make some really cool bows. Here we go with the mini glue dot. And I'm going to put this right on my little fence right here. Oh my gosh, isn't this so cute? Where'd my scissors go right here? I'm just gonna trim this off a little bit. Isn't that the cutest little card ever? Now, hang tight because we need to do a little something on the inside. We're gonna bring in polished pink and the It's Your Day stamp. And I'll show you this where this is coming from in just a second. Happiest of birthdays. I love these big stamps. And this is huge, this is big. I've got the It's Your Day here. I love this stamp set. All right, there we go. Now, I had one more idea for the paper piecing that I wanted to share with you. Um, and then I'll show you the other colors. I'm gonna grab my chamois and wash the stamp. I should say other color because I've got the blue Bermuda Bay minty green colored one. Okay, here comes our next, here comes our next card. This is polished pink and it's four and a quarter by 11. And then this is where this piece is going. Holy cow, I like almost completely messed that up. So I'm going to add this layer with that stitched greenery right on here. And oh, don't you just love that pop of color? It's just so pretty. And I see that I must have not scored this very, very good. So let me see if I can force this in just like that. Okay. Then I've got a piece of three by three basic white. Just any old scrap will do. And now I've got some three by half inch strips of the polished pink, Melon Mambo polished pink and Blushing Bride. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the paper piecing on the other one, only this one's gonna be just a tad bit different. I think you're really gonna like it. So our half inch strips are gonna go right on here. And I'm just using, you know, the white layer to help guide me to get them on here straight. There we go, so this is what we have. I am going to use my um, layering circles dies. I am going to die cut a circle out of this. 
I'm also going to take a scrap of black and do a scallop circle. I'll be right back. Here we go. This die cuts this whole thing. Isn't that fun? Now you can do any shape that you want. This was just kind of a different idea. I am going to put this on that black. And then we're going to add this to the front of our stitched greenery layer. I'm just going to put that right on here. Now I've done some other stamping. I stamped, of course, this. So we are going to just assemble this card now because I already showed you how I made these elements on the last card. This one is just going to be assembly so you can see the cute idea that I had with it. Here we go. I die cut a polished pink little balloon. Isn't that cute? And I'm gonna add a dimensional to the back of the balloon. I'm not gonna do anything to the string, but I'm going to pull that down in here, pop it right on there. I already colored the sheep in and die cut it, so we can add some dimensionals to that. We're gonna put that right over here. There's a couple little cloud dies that come with this set. So I'm gonna add some dimensionals to them. Last but not least, I stamped the little party hat that comes with the set. So we're gonna add that to our sheep because this is a birthday card. I'm just gonna use a little dimensional to add that right down on here. Oh my gosh, how cute is that, right? Okay, then of course we need an inside and that's where I thought I would use this big greeting. Oh, wait, let me see. The front says, so glad it's your birthday. So maybe wishing you the happiest. Of now that'll be fine. I was gonna say maybe that isn't the best sentiment. I could use a different one, but I think this one will be great. So we're gonna ink this up with polished pink. Oops, hang on, I see I have a little something piece of fuzz right there. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a stain on my stamp. I didn't want that on there. Okay, here comes wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Isn't that cute? And then I think we will put this little sheep right down here in the corner. And we're going to have to color it in, of course. with the smoky slate and then the light black marker on the hooves. Now, little little tip, watch your eyeball on this sheep when you paint when you color his face gray, you want that white eyeball to stay white. Okay. I can't hardly wait to send these out. They're so stinking cute. All right, let me show you the other cards that I made here. Here are our pink ones. My idea of paper piecing. Here's the Coastal Cabana one and also a Coastal Cabana one in this one. Which one is your favorite? What is really grabbing you here? I think, I don't know, I love them all. I think they're just adorable. So again, celebration starts August 3rd. Also, we have a brand new mini catalog that starts August 3rd. When you order out of any of our catalogs, you can choose a free item out of here when your order gets to $50. Now remember, if you, 
are outside the United States, you're gonna to have to find one of our demonstrators that's in the blog hop to order from. I cannot provide product to anybody outside the United States, but if you are in the United States and you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Feel free to, prop, feel free to pop me an email right here and ask for catalogs, I'd be happy to send them to, to you. Also, if you do place an order and your order is under $150, please use this host code, that helps me out. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get rewards from Stampin' Up! and I want you to have them. Now, you're gonna click right up here to head over to my blog so you can join in on this international blog hop with paper piecing as our theme today for the Totally Techniques design team. Don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You are going to see a whole bunch of new ideas coming out from me with the holiday mini catalog and celebration items. I cannot hardly wait to share all the cool things I've been making for the last month with you. This lasts until September 30th, starts August 3rd through September 30th. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I am always available to answer your questions. I want you to get the most out of all this paper crafting that you can. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Have yourself a great weekend. Bye-bye.